Is it legible? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm Peter Haynes. I'm the president, the newly elected president of the Over the Rhine Community Council. And I'm going to use Mercer Commons. You've heard a little bit about Mercer Commons today as a case study of Over the Rhine development. And um, there is some audience participation here in two places. So right off the bat, would you all take out a clean piece of paper? Please take out a clean piece of paper. It's a very easy assignment. All set? When I say over the rhyme to you, please write down the three words that makes you think of. <coughs> three words you think of. Three words of association you think of when you hear the phrase over the rhyme. You have about eight more seconds. <laughs> Is there anyone who needs more time? No, you're all done? Now, please pass your papers all the way over to your right. And my friend in the back row with the blue shirt on is going to pick them up and bring them down to me. Thank you very much. The real question I have about uh, my presentation or the organizing principle for my presentation about the Mercer Commons is who decides? Who decides on these development projects? Is it 3CDC? What about historic preservation? And what about civic engagement? I think you've all heard those three terms today, so I'm not going to spend much time on them. Here's a great shot of over the Rhine. You can see uh, much of the historic architecture that's contained in there. You see prominently on the left side, uh, Music Hall. Behind that is the Museum Center. In the foreground is uh, one of, there's several of church steeples, one of which used to be owned by Bird and Bell Company. Here's another shot of Music Hall. You've all been there yet? It's one of the, I think, three or four key icons from over the Rhine. Finley Market being another. The Bachfest. I know you're all looking forward to the Bachfest as a celebration of the end of winter. A brief historic overview of <laughs> over the Rhine. In 1983, it was put on the historic register. And as an aside, I know I'm violating all the precepts about how you're supposed to prepare these PowerPoint presentations. <laughs> and I'm not reading this, right? But you can see the words I've highlighted. 1983 was when it went on the historic register. 362 intact acres. Almost the entire over the Rhine was put on the historic district. And the architecture there is characterized by two, three, and four story brick or stone edifices, of all things. Using the architecture vernacular, Greek Revival, Italianate, and Queen Anne styles, it was once the largest German-American neighborhood in the United States. Uh, I, f I apologize, I forget who the gentleman was that made this point earlier <coughs> in the day. On the left is the map of Over the Rhine in 1930. And you can see how densely populated it is. The number that I saw was in 1900, there were 40 some thousand people in over the Rhine, 40,000. And as you heard later today, uh, that number is down now. I think it is around 5,000 now in the latest census. But you can see what's happened to the buildings there on the right image. And I got this from Cade Blenfield, Benfield's blog. I, I'm not exactly sure what kind of trouble I get into if I copy something off the web, so I'm giving some credit. I learned that first bullet today in 1984, the Over the Rhine Adap rather wrote their first, wrote a comprehensive plan that was later accepted by the city council. 
In 2002, that plan was updated, and I believe it was approved by the city council. And suffice to say that the word historic and preservation, those two words were coupled throughout that comprehensive plan. And ostensibly, that plan is to guide the development, redevelopment of Over the Rhine. In 2003, the Cincinnati Central City Development Corporation, AKA 3CDC, was created. The result of a study by a task force that Mayor Lunken, Lucan rather, had established. My assessment of that was that he abdicated the city's responsibility in economic development. I'll say more about that later. In 2003, the Over the Rhine Historic District wrote its conservation guidelines. These are the guidelines. What? Really? The guidelines were written then too? Thank you. You and I need to chat afterwards. Um, the, the point to make is that these guidelines have been in place uh, for at least 1983? 95. 95, thank you. Um, in 2004, the International Economic Development Council did a study on Hamilton County and its economic development program and one series of strong recommendations they made there was that the county should partner with the city of Cincinnati in, in the development of the Over the Rhine area based upon this incredible location of all those, as others have said already today, all the architectural, that, the architectural remnants, rather, or edifices that remain largely intact, surprisingly, for the past 150-some years. And in 2006, Over the Rhine was declared as one of the most endangered historic areas in the country. Is it okay to say Over the OTR, or am I going to get in trouble with that? This is the historic district, and I believe this map is the one from 2003. If you can recall back to that population or the buildings map, it's essentially the same area. So why is historic district important? Well, because we're trying to preserve it. And here is the splash page, one of the splash pages from 3CDC. And you can see, especially in that top left quadrant, the example of some of the um, buildings that have been revitalized, rehabilitated, I'm not going to say Renaissance, mm -hmm. in the Over the Rhine area. Is there anybody who has not been in Over the Rhine? So you all know this stuff, good deal. Now, historically, uh, we have these guidelines that are meant to apply to prevention of demolition of historic buildings. And if there are rehabilitation that takes place in those buildings, the guidelines cover that. And if there's new construction, infill construction that takes place, the guidelines are supposed to cover that. And recall our friends at 3CDC, upper left-hand quadrant, here's what they are preserving, and here's their new, newly designed modern building for the corner of Mercer and Vine Street and over the Rhine. <coughs> this is a point at which I take exception from my friends at 3CDC, who I otherwise would, would extend kudos to for the work that they are doing on the restoration of many of the historic projects. But tell me how this relates to the character of Over the Rhine, or the legacy of Over the Rhine. Where is our friend from the Metro Lab now? Ah, thank you. Your partner. Be sure and tell him this that this exists. Maybe he's seen it. I don't think he designed it. So is this Over the Rhine? <laughs> Or is this over the Rhine? Is this over the Rhine? That same building 
This is the latest uh, rendering that I have access to.